one of the really cool things that you could do with CSS is actually have multiple style sheets that target um, your page based on what device it's being viewed from. So, for example, uh, we're looking at this, uh, well, we call this the resume project, right? And we're looking at it on a web page, as a web page. And as a web page, this looks pretty good. But if uh, you were to send this out as a printed resume, um, now, this is what it looked like printed. I'm just doing a print preview from my Mac. This is fine, but, you know, you rarely, well, depending, of course, it depends what what uh, field you're in, but resumes tend to be one page, and they kind of, this goes over a lot of stuff about Vannevar Bush. You, you go over the highlights of what you have, and generally, you don't have a quote, uh, you clearly don't need a navigation menu since it's printed. And anyhow, um, so you wonder, well, how am I going to get something that's printable? Do I, could, would I create a whole new page? No, no, you wouldn't. You'd actually just create a whole new um, CSS page. And then as long as you add the appropriate media type to it, you could, you could select what it looks like online. And if someone's going to print it, what it'll look like on the printed page. Let's do just that. So the first thing I mentioned is that we're going to need another style sheet, right? And so I'm going to go into my project, into my root folder, and here where I have that main style sheet, I'm going to make a duplicate of it. Uh, I just made a copy of it, whichever way you want to do it uh, is fine. Um, and I'm going to rename it to printer.css. So now I have two, two different documents. Um, if I go back to my HTML, right into my code, uh, I'll, I'm going to look for the link that links in my main.css document. And here it is. Now, this right here is missing an attribute. I'm going to add it right here. I'm going to add media and see how it comes up. And what I'm going to add for media is screen. Now, this isn't going to change anything on my page. This is just basically saying this style sheet is specific to the screen because we didn't have it we didn't have a media dec uh, media attribute set up before so that style sheet was specific to anything you did with it including you know you saw what what it looked like when I tried to print it I'm gonna copy this entire link and paste it and I just want to rename a couple things on here as far as my link goes I'm gonna go from main.css to that new one I created printer.css and as media, as far as media goes over here, I'm going to take this out, and I'll start it again. You should see something for print. There you go. So this one is for print. So here's the key difference. First off, I, I'm pointing it to a different style sheet. Second off, it has an attribute that says it's for the printer. It says media print. So what is it going to change? Well, at this point, nothing, because uh, in reality, this printer style sheet that we have here is the exact same as our as our main dot main dot CSS style sheet. So, let me take all of that stuff out, except for my comment and my char set, my character set declaration. Now, let's see what happens. All right, before anything, let me refresh this document. And I know, I look at the code, okay, there it is. It has the printer style sheet, and the printer style sheet's empty. So now, if I go to print this, I should see something different. There you go. Notice how this thing is not rendering. The printed version does not render like it does online, which is a good thing. I want it to get rid of that. So there's some other stuff that I need to get rid of, too. Uh, for one, this navigation menu on the printed version, it doesn't even make sense. Uh, I could probably get rid of this block quote over here because, I don't know, I just don't need that for um, for a resume, you know, quote-unquote resume. Basically, I want to get this bad boy down to one page, like a one-page printable resume. And what I'm going to do that with is a attribute called, a CSS attribute, called display none and it's uh, we've used it before we've used display uh, to change a
block level item to an inline item. That's how we made this navigation menu uh, lie horizontally. Well, you could just do display none to make things not display. Um, here, I'll just give you a very extreme example of that. So here's body, and I'll do display none. Guess what's going to happen when I print this out? I have to give it a refresh. Well, look at that. It's just going to be an entire blank white page because it's saying don't display anything within the body. But I don't want to be that um, that extreme. You know, I just want to uh, take out certain things. I know the one thing that I want to take out is my nav menu. And let me save that and I'll go back, refresh it, print that out. And indeed, it took out that nav menu. Cool. What else do I want to take out? Well, um, I could take out this. I don't want to take out this entire banner because this banner actually has uh, the H1 Van Ver Bush in there. So I am just going to remove the block quote from there. Right? Because the block quote, if we look inside the source code, um, I could just do display none to the banner, but then I'd have to get his name back. So. Might as well just do don't display the block quote. That's cool. Um, I want to get rid of this portrait. So I'm just grouping this together. Portrait. Okay. Um, what else would I like to get rid of? Um, I think his biography should be fine. Education, you're going to need that. Employment, you're going to need that for a resume. Um, honors. Maybe I'll get rid of publications too. I think that if if that brings me down to one page, that should be sufficient. So let's see what this looks like. Give my page a refresh, attempt to print it, and ah, so close, so close. Well. I could definitely, I guess what I'll just do is get rid of the honors as well. Aha, and there you go. Now you have a printable one page resume. And of course, you could, from here, you could style it even further. If you wanted to add indents to this uh, biography, if you wanted to set a font family for this thing, all those things, no problem doing that because um, you have full control over what it's going to look like on the printed version. Just as you're doing it, you want to make sure you test and you're actually getting what you anticipate.